Hello, uh, welcome to Friends in Tech, uh, our YouTube tutorials. And in today's video, we want to look at uh, subroutines. Uh, so let's begin. So what's a subroutine? So what's a subroutine? So a subroutine is a sequence of program instructions that performs a specific task packaged as a unit. So this unit can be used in multiple places within a program. So generally subroutines are uh, used to organize programs and to implement repetitive operations. So in PLC, in PLC programming, we have two instructions that can uh, that we can use to control the program flow. You can use conditional jump and call instructions to control the program flow. Other than that, you can use a, a subroutine. So a subroutine is like a function or a method in high-level programming languages like Python or C++. So our goal today is to try to develop a subroutine in TI portal. How can we develop a subroutine in TI portal? How can we call it? Because it's normal, like the same way we call functions in high-level programming languages is the same way we can call subroutines in ladder programming or in TIA, all right? So let's begin. So an example is like, you have 10 motors and you want to write the latching circuit for each. That means that you'll have four latching circuits or more than, or 10 latching circuits. So instead of having this rep, uh, repetition, we can develop a block, a program block, which is called subroutine to handle this program then anytime we need to run a motor we can just call the subroutine all right so let's go in, uh, let's go to TI portal and let's start uh, developing a subroutine so here in TI portal you need to add a project first so after adding the project you need to select the CPU so you realize that I'm using step 7, 400, CPU is 414-3, PN stroke DP. So when you come to program blocks here, when you come to program blocks, you can press on add new block. And when you click on add new block, we have four blocks in, uh, in TIA. The first block is organization block. Then the second block is FB block. So in organization block here, uh, just a minute. So in organization block, this is where you write your main. This is where you write your main programs, all right? This is where you write your main programs. Also in organization block, you can also write the subroute. Uh, I mean the interrupts. You can write interrupts here. Then when you come to function blocks, when you come to function blocks. So these are blocks that uh, store value. Their values permanently, all right? permanently then we have the FC block so FC block are function control blocks so functions are code blocks or subroutines without dedicated memory so it's very important to understand that these subroutines or this block we don't have some dedicated memory so it means that the variables that we'll create within that block are temporary variables all right those variables are temporary they don't have dedicated memory so for you to develop a subroutine in TI portal, you just have to select FC, that's function control block, then hit OK. Then here is our function block. So let's say that we have four motors, uh, less than 5 HP, 5 horsepower. That means we can start these motors using direct online method. So let's develop a ladder diagram for that. So all you need is to add, normally open there, uh, normally close to represent stop push button, and a coil. Then you need to introduce a hold, then normally open, then just complete this. So here we say that we don't have variables that have some dedicated memory. We are using temporary variables, so you need to create those temporary variables. So remember the inputs here are start button stop button all right so let me just uh 
So you can come to this table here and add the first input. So the first input is start button. Start button. The type will be boolean. Then uh, the next input is stop. Stop button. There. Then at the output, let's just add output. There. So the output will be boolean also. Then here you can now select start button. You can select stop button. So you realize that we don't have the, the tag address here. We don't have the tag address here. So meaning these are temporary, temporary variables. Then here, this one we can come output. Then reference it here, output. There. So we are done with our subroutine. So we are done with our subroutine. So when you come to main block, in main block is where you write your main program, all right? It's where you write your main program. So you need to call this subroutine or this function here. You need to call this subroutine. So in order to call a subroutine, you need to call it in main block. So let's go to main block here. Then we need to call this main. We need to call this subroutine four times because I have four motors or I want to run four motors. So I need to call it four times. So you can just drag this subroutine here, there. And at the start button, these are the motors I have here. I have motor 1, 2, 3, and 4. And each motor we have start and stop push buttons. And we have an output called motor 1, motor 2, motor 3, motor 4. So when you come to TI here, at the start, we have to configure. We have to configure these parameters here. So at the start button for motor 1, you just have to select start button 1. Then at the stop, you have to select stop button 1. Then at the output, you just select motor 1. There. And you are done. So again, when you need to run motor 2, you just call the subroutine again. So we can rename this block. Instead of calling it block 1, let's just call it subroutine. Let's call it subroutine there so in network 2 again i just have to drag this block here then select start button 2 start button not 3 but start button 2 then select stop button number 2 stop button 2 then you can select output as motor, uh, motor 2 and you are done. So what about network 3? Again just drag your subroutine here. So simple. Then select this as start button number. Number 3. Then select stop. St stop button number 3. Then you can add motor 3 here. And we are done. Finally, let's add the final, the final block here. So you can select start button number four and stop. Stop button number four. Then here you can select motor four. There we are done. So after that we can uh, start simulation. So we have simulation there. So let's just uh, compile this and load the program. So load the program. There. So after that let's go online.
So you are online and right now you can see that all the subroutines are false. Look at the output of each, uh, each block here. So the inputs false false, that means that we haven't pressed any uh, stop or start push button. Then you can see the status of the motor is false. You can confirm this with your HMI. You can see your motors are off, off, off. So the next thing you need to connect now, your, your TI portal or basically PILSIM with Ignition SCADA software, all right? With Ignition SCADA software. So go to Ignition Gateway here. So when you come to Ignition Gateway, you need to add the device. You can see here I have a device step 7400 connected. So the status is connected. That means that uh, I've managed to successfully connect Ignition and uh, and Pilsim. All right, and Pilsim. You can check my previous videos how you can connect Pilsim and, uh, and Ignition SCADA software. So after that, now when you come to, to your Ignition designer here, and let's press on start button let's press on the first start button here oh, just a minute so when you press on the start button you can see the motor is now running that is motor one is running so when you select when you press on start button number two So you can you can see uh, we have some uh, changes in the HMI. So you can see this is also running. That is motor three is also running. When you press on motor four, so you can see also motor four is running. So that's our HMI. When you press on stop, we expect motor one to stop. So this is how you can uh, use subroutines or function control blocks in TIA. So this, uh, this is how you can use function control blocks in TIA to have some routines. And uh, this is how you can call them by just dragging them into your main, into your main program. So that's the end of this video. If you have any question, kindly leave the question at the comments and share this video kindly subscribe also to our channel